bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hey there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen, and welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2019, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday every day until December 25th. You can follow along on the calendar on my website at TrailerParkChristmas.com. I printed it out real big, and I see today that it says Dip Recipe. It's not a holiday in the Trailer Park without a great dip. And today's recipe uses something that I grew up on. Actually, it was a sandwich at the time. It was a deviled ham sandwich. You got it out of the can and you sprayed it on there with some mustard. Oh, well, anyway, today we're going to be making a great dip that's great with crackers or chips. You can put it out on the holiday buffet table and people will really like it. And I'm bringing deviled ham back in a dip style for Trailer Park Christmas 2019. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my deviled ham dip is really simple and you don't need a mixer or anything like that yet. I've got a nice little bowl here that will look great out on a buffet table. And I've got a softened block of cream cheese, which was luckily on sale. It was like a two for sale. Thank goodness, because things have gotten so expensive here lately. I've got two cups of shredded cheese, and I'm using the pre-shredded cheese because it was on sale too. And if you use this in anything that you melt, this was actually not a, a recipe that we're melting today. Um, you shouldn't really use this because it's got some sort of coating that keeps it from sticking together. You should actually grate your own. It actually turns out a lot better. Now, today we're bringing back deviled ham. Now, I grew up with actually a sandwich and um, with this, with some hot mustard or maybe some brown mustard. And um, it actually just comes in a can. This is great for when you actually have like a power outage and you can eat it on a crack or just some white bread and we're just gonna put a large can of that in there it's just ham it makes a great sandwich and just a little bit of that actually all the big old can in there and it, I know it looks a little different and I know it's a processed food but it'll be okay and it'll look great out on a buffet table and no one will know the difference now today I'm using some mayonnaise and I'm gonna use a half cup of that just right on in there and um, I'm just gonna eyeball that just like that right on into the bowl and that's gonna make it super creamy and now I'm gonna add a dash of oh it's hard to say we we had this controversy early in the year on other videos Worcestershire sauce I don't know if we ever really did uh, come up with what the right way was um, for that and we're gonna add a dash of pepper or a lot of pepper if you like that. Maybe some garlic powder in there too, some onion powder. What kind of spices would you add this uh, to this mixture here? And I'm just adding some salt right on into the bowl. Now, what I like to add to mine is some chopped up onion. Now, you can have big chunks or you can grind it all up and make it kind of a smooth onion, um, but I'm just dunking that right on in there. Now, I'm using a pimento or a pimiento pepper. Now, I can seldom find these fresh. I'm using the jarred kind. It's actually really cheap. You'll find it next to the pepper section, and I'm going to just put those right on in there into the bowl. This is already going to be just great with all these flavors here, but you can certainly add your own stuff to make it your own. I'm going to mix this around and make it smooth and creamy, and I'm going to check back with you in just a moment. 
There we go. We mixed it all around and look how pretty that looks. We're going to pop it in the fridge for about an hour or so to chill up and then we're going to put it out on the buffet table and taste it. I'll check with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my deviled ham cheese dip. And I put it up on crackers and you can put it out in a pretty bowl up on your buffet table for the holidays and people can dip their crackers in it. Not double dip, that is gross. Um, but you could use chips or maybe even some um, bread or some toast or those Melba things. People think those are really fancy, but I'm tired of talking about it and I wanna taste it, so let me see what it tastes like. That has got a kick with the um, pimento peppers and mm, the, the bite of the cheese and the creaminess of the mayonnaise and the cream cheese together is so good up on that cracker and mm, this will become a favorite dip in that deviled ham. That just brings me back to my childhood. That has such a great taste. And there was no preparation that you needed. You just got it right out of the can. And wow, I hope you get a chance to make my devil ham dip. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me all around. I'm on uh, Facebook and I'm on Instagram. And the best thing to do is download the free, wherever it is, calendar right here. I have blown it up real big so you can follow along. You can print off your own fridge size copy at TrailerParkChristmas.com. I see tomorrow that I'm going till the 25th. There's another video. It says chocolate covered cherry cookies. So I'll I'll see you tomorrow for that recipe. All the way until the 25th, there's a free uh, holiday video showing you how the trailer park celebrates the holiday. I can't wait to spend more of the holiday with you. I love you. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen. Merry trailer park Christmas. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.